Teen mom Janelle Evans has asked followers to view Farah Abraham's life before swiftly removing the post. The star of Teen Mom 2 shared a now-deleted post on her Instagram on Tuesday, which was captured by critics. Samyon do a welfare check on Farah Abraham's daughter, wrote Janelle, 31, above a text box on a rear screen she posted. In her videos on the internet, her mother appears to be quite unstable. Even though Farah's only kid is just 14, the TV celebrity mentioned that she has a cameo account where people may pay for a personalized video from her and added an emoticon of a crying face. When Sophia, Farah's daughter, visited her grandfather's grave, she posted a picture of herself from the cemetery, appearing distressed. Even though Janelle promptly deleted the post, fans grabbed a fast screenshot and shared it on Reddit to express their opinions about the star's request. The social media post was started by a person who said, Oh, Janelle, so disorganized. The person who needs their children taken ASAP, someone said in a remark. In response to the comment, someone said, It seems like, ma'am, the call is coming from inside the house. Another stated, She is the last person to be worrying about other people's kids. Well, she's not worrying about her own, was the response from someone else under that comment. The sixth person questioned, her son is in foster care and she posts this. One person said, she is a projection expert. After Janelle's husband postponed entering a plea to accusations of child abuse, this conversation took place. On September 28, North Carolina neighbors accused David Eason, 35, of abusing Janelle's oldest kid, Jace, 14. It is known to the U.S. son that David did not show up for his Wednesday court appearance. He received a delay and is not required to appear in court until January 18, according to an insider. Just one day prior to the court appearance, the insider verified that David had hired an attorney. William Gore, a North Carolina lawyer, reportedly represented David in court on his behalf, claiming that Tara Gore, his assigned attorney, was on maternity leave until January 1. This information was reported by the Ashley's Reality Roundup. The judge granted the lawyer's plea to take the case into the new year. Before Jace fled for a third time, the teen mom too alone is said to have attacked him. Court documents initially made public by the U.S. son claim that David intentionally injured his stepson, leaving bruises on his arm and neck. The defendant unlawfully and voluntarily did, as the parent of Jace V. Evans, who was a child, less than 16 years of age, inflict physical injury on that child, the court document said. The physical injury inflicted caused marks on their right arm and left and right side of the neck, and was inflicted by other than accidental means. Following the purported event, Jace was formally placed under the custody of Child Protective Services. The teenager has been living with his grandmother, Barbara, ever since.